right, so we got my man DJ Bring It Back out of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. And he used FL Studio. Click the link, y'all, if you want your music review. Um, we're going to listen to your music in the queue. We're going to listen to your music any minute. Um, and so, bro, I'm going to delete the second one because it's important for y'all to follow instructions. Only submit one. Let us request mult more from you. So I'm gonna delete that that second one because we don't know if we want we might not even need your music, we might not even need to listen to two or three or four. But um we're gonna listen to you though. So ARs get ready to listen to this. This is DJ Bring It Back out of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. He uses FL Studio. I asked him to rate his skill. He said that he would rate his skill as an amateur. So let's take that in consideration. He's rating himself as an amateur so yeah let's take that into consideration y'all want to listen to this music uh here we go dj bring it back mm. bars Send me another one. Send me another one, DJ. Bring it back. Um, what do I think about that? I think at the end of the day, listen, listen. This type of music, like this type of music is really all about the 808 and a melody. So he got those. I think the eight, I think those two melodies that he got are conflicting. They're not in the same key. I don't think I don't think that dun dun dun, dun matches the piano. So I don't know why y'all be, he, he put those conflicting melodies in there. They don't even go together. So like, if you go, like, honestly, you could really just take that second melody out, bro. And just let that piano rock and just, unless you want to add something else on top of it. Let me see. Take that shit out, bro. And you got, so you literally got reverb on the piano. You got reverb on the thun on now. And you got reverb on the rim shot. And I think you got reverb on the hi-hat. That's too many reverbs, bro. You got a delay and a reverb on the piano. You got reverb on, yeah, the piano, the conflicted melody. You got reverb on the on the stick or that snare or the stick. You got melody on that back snare. I mean, you got reverb on that back snare. And then you got a melody in the back that's hella lo-fi that sound like it's conflicting with the piano. If I was you, I'd take the reverb off of all of the drums. If I was you, I would create four or five versions of the same beat with different piano melodies in the same key just to give yourself different variations and then pick the best one because the dun dun na 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 dun you don't need that dun you don't need that dun na 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 dun you don't need that shit take that shit out just let that shit ride if you're gonna make it simple bro these simple beats be going these simple beats be going we don't know how the fuck they be going but the motherfuckers be going First, take that shit the fuck out, bro. That shit making me mad. But let the piano, the 808. Look, your 808, your drum game is cool, bro. Just take all that reverb off. That shit hard. got a back snare with reverb bro why you got all that reverb on here bro fuck he was doing dog 
Take all that fucking reverb off here, man. The fuck? You just went reverb crazy, bro. Take that delay. So look, I want you to write notes, bro. Look, take take the note. He don't need a different 808 pattern. No, he don't. Your advice is terrible. Don't ever do music reviews, cook up. <laughs> Fuck, he don't need a different 808 pattern. The 808 pattern is cool. Yeah. Yeah, he... I fuck with that beat, bro. I fuck with it. He just... He just need... To pull a bunch of shit out of it. Take the reverb out. Take the delay off the piano. Take that down note off the piano melody. Take that conflicting melody out. And then make four or five versions of the same beat with a different piano melody. Um, you probably got one note in the 808 pattern that needs to come out. It don't need to change, though. Um, thank you, Marion. That shit don't matter how long it is. Um, it's, it's long enough. That shit long enough. Um, but it should be like three minutes though. It should always be like three minutes though for sure. Send me another one, DJ. Um Okay, we about to listen to this one too. Okay, so we got a Memphis type beat. Oh, we got we got two. We got two from my man DJ. My man DJ running back. We got two, so we got another one, y'all. Let me know what y'all think. I need y'all to put sign self or drop in the chat about about that beat. What y'all think? Be honest though. Don't be afraid to be honest. This is number two, just in case y'all need to hear something else. This is from DJ Running Back, the same person we just heard. He said this is a Memphis type beat. So y'all let me know if y'all agree that this is a Memphis type beat. Take the beat down. Take that motherfucker up, bro. Like, why you drop the beat out? Why y'all be dropping the drums out? Shut up. Look, producer, stop going down. Go up gradually. Don't go up. Literally go up, up. Like, listen, listen, right here, you should have went up, bro. Right here. Right here, right here. But you went down. You should have went up. I don't know why y'all do that. Y'all all do that. Y'all like you literally like built this up and then you drop it off. Why the fuck do y'all do that shit, bro? Like, like you you need to go like don't go extreme, but just elevate like elevate maybe two or three steps and then go back down and then two or three steps go back down two or three steps go back down two or three steps that's all y'all need because bro a rapper gonna rap on this shit and then you got too much reverb on this too bro you got melody on the vocals you got melody on the piano if you was a girl you were a lot of makeup bro that be hard I mean them drums Yo drum game is kind of cold low key With a little direction bro You be on point Piano melody hard though. That 
beat could be so like, bro, that beat could like, like that beat could literally be everything it needs to be with one person. But because you didn't execute, you would have to give that to another producer. And so now you collaborating on a beat that's barely going to sell for a thousand bucks. And now you got to split that shit with somebody. This is why y'all producers be losing value because you should have the ability. That beat is so simple that everything it needs to be on a Drake level, you should be able to do, but you probably ain't going to be able to do. So you would have to send that shit to somebody like me. And I'm going to take half of all your shit just because you didn't, you didn't execute. So this is why these basic ass beats be having three, four producers on them, bro. You know what I'm saying? But like, this is, but this, but like, bro, like, I will say this though, like the foundation, you, you have the foundation, like you have the foundation to be a good producer. And then you put rough mix in the title. Then was not rough mix. Them shits was both drowning and reverb. So stop using so much effects on your shit, bro. Let them drums breathe by themselves, bro. You need subtle, 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 barely any fucking reverbs or effects on your shit. Especially in hip hop today, claps, um, claps and and sticks and rim shots. You don't hear a lot of reverb on them shits, man. So just go back and listen to Drake. Go back and listen to Twenty One Savage, and you will hear that they not using a lot of reverb and effects on them drums. But I like your hi hat game, bro. Your hi hat game was fitting in pockets. Your eight oh eight game was cool. I probably give your eight oh eight game like a B. You know what I'm saying? But your drum patterns was was like an A. Your your hi hat pattern was an A. That piano was cool, but I don't know the origin of the piano. I don't know if you got that shit off a loop. I don't know if you replayed it. But the fact that you put all of the effects on it, it kind of just took away from the whole beat. It's like you just put foundation and shit all over your face and your your skin wasn't even that bad, bro. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's what I think about that though. But thank you, bro. What y'all think though? What y'all think? Get in the chat. What y'all think? What y'all think? <sighs> Shelf this one. Got potential. This guy loves reverb. <laughs> Dope drums. 808 melody. Yeah, facts. Yeah. Shout out to my man. Them some cool beats. I fuck with them though, for sure, bro. I definitely would shelf them too. I definitely would shuffle him because we can get him right. But I don't know if, if bro know how to play keys or not. Um, that conflicted. I literally just told him how to make that first beat a, a banger. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get him right. He set the bar. Uh, let's see. Drums hard. Melody is on light support. Sounds kind of out of key. But the perks are solid. Facts. Keep pushing. You got dirt. Mystical type beat. My boy Dame King Vintage, what's up, dog? I ain't see you, bro. I like how subtle the melody is. It just isn't strong enough to carry the beat. Ooh, by the time you said something that was, boy, I'm on your ass, eating up a lot of space and frequencies using all that reverb. Yeah, that's that's facts, B. Bro, put reverb on the master. Oh shit. <laughs> Facts because even this beat reminds me of a good kid Mad City vibe for Kendrick. Yeah, that shit could go somewhere, bro. If he just fix out the little details, he need a different 808 pattern. Yeah, Cook Up could not be a teacher at all. <laughs> Cook Up would be a terrible teacher, bro. He'd be punching kids and shit. We gonna let we we can't let Cook Up be no teacher or no or no damn music instructor, bro. He'd be terrible. Shelf because he did say he was amateur. Nah, bro, you definitely not amateur. Damn, thank you for pointing that out. Thanks for pointing that out, Chili. He definitely not amateur. Um. Uh, yeah, that was hard. But then at the same time, bro, he could be using drum loops. We don't. Everybody know. hit the like button. Everybody stop. Hit the like button real quick. Put y'all questions in the chat. Hit the like button.